There are many situations where I could ask this question, each scenario being different from the last one due to the deaths affecting the outcomes and feelings following said deaths. There's the first where we meet the Pillar Man, then there's Icy Dizzy's first fight, Cars' first altercation, Wamu vs Caesar, Wamu vs Joseph, and well that would be it on the fights because if it's just Cars then it's just a Pillar Man and not Pillar Men, now isn't it? But let's say it's the first encounter with the Pillar Man and they weren't as easy with both Joseph and Caesar and I feel like it's hilarious imagining between defeated Joseph and the Pillar Men just Joseph trying to negotiate with them to give himself time and last hope but then Cars just saw like screw that and just drops down and crushes Joseph's skull with his feet or something. Like, Wamu, you need to stop negotiating with the enemy. I've had enough of this. And then Caesar comes in like, no, Joseph, I will avenge you. And then Wamu does the same exact thing where he picks up Caesar by the neck and just donuts Caesar to move on. Well, there you go. Let's take out our first star players. And what are the Pillar Men going to do? What if the Pillar Men won? That's the main question. They're going to try to locate the Redstone of Asia. And you're going to have Lisa Lisa with her two Hamon trained buff guys, Loggins and Messina or something like that. So over the span of maybe not even a month, possibly two or three weeks, uh, they find where they're all at. Cars vs. Lisa Lisa, Loggins vs. ACDC, Wamu vs. Messina. They have no chance. I, I promise you, there is no chance of them. Pillar Man vs. those specific three. There's, let me give you an actual representation due to keyframing and Photoshop. <laughs> Now, I know that that's pretty messed up, but to make the clip better, imagine that the fists aren't fists and they're actually respect or something like that. Now, from then on, how exactly are we going to go about this now? Where do the Pillar Men go on from now? Well, they get what they came for, the Red Stone of Asia. Since they keep stone masks on them at all times somehow, or maybe they can just recreate them out of nowhere, because I guess all you need is stone, technically. They can all become ultimate beings. Now, imagine this. Ultimate Cars, Ultimate ACDC, and Ultimate Wamu. First of all, being an Ultimate Life Form is ridiculously busted. You guys can refer to my How Strong is Ultimate Cars video to know all the parts about it. And to make it easier, imagine the peak of evolution, strength, adaptation, and intelligence wise. Well, even assuming that they would all be Ultimate Life Forms would technically go against the plot in some ways. ACDC wanted to assist Cars, and Wamu wants to find a worthy opponent to fight one day meaning that they both look up to cars regardless and Wamu would, ha would never have that someone that matches up to him around that time because he became an ultimate life form. But at the same time, he wants his people to be able to live under the sun. So the best way to do that would be make them ultimate or to use his power to make their bodies adaptable to the world itself, including the sun. So now you have ultimate cars, regular but adapted ACDC and Wamu. Either that or they're ultimate now. Now, what is their exact goal now that Cars has achieved his goal? Well, originally, Cars had a plan for his people to prosper with him. The pillar people that he was raised with, raised by, and all around just lived with are all dead because of him. Or, well, because they thought that, hey, Cars is kind of getting out of hand, we should stop him. So now he doesn't have said people, and reproduction is useless for Cars. What is left for Cars now? Well, enslaving the human race to make them give back to the rest of the life forms on Earth is one thing, since Cars comes from a time where the Earth was flourishing compared to the time where they're at in battle tendency, so that gives him a reason to believe that humans are pretty bad. That idea is a debate on its own because Cars believed that organisms had what he didn't, and he wasn't better than those organisms in some aspects, so that's why he would have put himself over said organisms. Humans? Humans aren't those organisms. Cars knows that he's better than humans. But when it comes to plants, for example, plants have things that he didn't at the time until he became the ultimate life form. Take photosynthesis, for example. Along with using the sun as food, he can use it as a strong energy to pull from to increase his energy, possibly. That focus being on Hamon purely. Aside from attacking humanity, I believe that Cars would spend a lot of his time figuring out his body and what lengths it could go. He could turn his arm into a dung beetle's arm and then multiply his pulling strength by 1,000, 141 times and there's a lot he could do i also have a video on that too uh, right here the truth strength of cars cars has the ability to do so much and with no hamon users in the way he won't have to worry about really anything so let's say that he spends his time training first taking around a year possibly in the meantime you have wamu going across the land looking for people to fight and acdc is just there. It's possible that Cars could begin his attack on humanity as soon as possible, but sooner or later he would have to encounter at least one stand user, and that's if they go to Egypt. 
They could also just completely disregard certain continents at the moment and just purely focus on either Europe or North America. Probably Europe due to the Germans wanting to put an end to the Pillarmen. Now regardless, they would all fail massively. If Kars does go about training around with his body, no weapons they have at the moment will matter. If they want to go to the lengths of dropping bombs onto the Pillarmen, that would also be massively ineffective since they could just throw it into space, the ocean, right back to the plane where it was dropped, or even just let the bomb drop itself. Cars could get both Pillarmen out of the way and have the bomb end up just destroying whatever it was going towards. Which would be a huge failure when it comes to trying to take out the Pillarmen. So say that the Pillarmen focus on Europe, it would take no longer than two months to overpower them as a whole. To conquer it may be difficult if they plan to keep people alive, and I'm trying to find ways where humanity can halt the Pillarmen until Theo comes back or you get more and more stand users due to the arrow, Enya, and all of those connections. But I doubt that humanity has a chance to halt the Pillarmen for 40 years or even close to that amount of time with Dio coming back. There's more of a chance of them finding the stand arrows way before 1986 where the stand arrows were actually found first than the Pillarmen with the stands and all that and well let's put it this way. If the Pillarmen had beat the Hamon users the chance of humanity surviving was trying to find a needle in a haystack. Now. It's trying to find a teardrop in the ocean. Not sure if that works, but I'm hoping that you get the level of impossibility that if they acquired stands. Because the surprise factor that you had that was your only chance is no longer a surprise. And along with that, if they get the arrow, a lot of people do not get stands, including Dio. Maybe they could just go out and research the ocean for the heck of it, and then they find Dio there, and well, it wouldn't really matter because he'd be nothing to them, but that would be a pretty cool short interaction but that's all i have to say if the pillar men won there'd be no chance for humanity so just remember the savior of humanity is this man and this man's mom and this mom's training men and this man and then this man well he's the reason for like a lot going wrong so you can blame him too thank you guys for watching this has been a longer speculation i wanted to give more thoughts that were actually based on the things there instead of mixing in headcanon but at the same time it's not headcanon type of stuff into the mix but even then this is technically what that is but basing off information provided from a canon source and even though my thing was technically the same thing uh, well hmm. if you guys want to buy the Jojoni for battle tendency there's a link in the description you guys can also use the separate amazon link to support me it gives me a small kickback though it gives you no extra charge though support means a lot so leave a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe for more content uh there's maybe a poll about what i should be able to do next uh depending on what because i actually have a lot on my plate i might not even put the poll there so maybe check there maybe just check there because because if you guys actually check there and you guys put a little poll to do them that means you guys are actually lasting along all the way here to this video or to this part of the video basically you know what i mean but thank you guys for watching <laughs> again until the next one i'm caleb peace out and godspeed